Hi everyone, it's Leah Lawson. I am joining Simon Says Stamp today for their Sending Sunshine release blog hop. This is day two of a two day blog hop. You can get all of the details at my website at leahlawsoncreates.com. There are $25 gift card giveaways at each stop along the hop, so it is worth checking out. They also have a fun promo going on. It's a free gift with purchase. You just use the code SUNSHINE upon checkout. And it's a great way to grab all of these goodies that I think you're just going to love. I created a Missing You card today in two of my signature colors, pink and gold. They're definitely my favorite. I also used my other signature favorite, jewels, just tucked here and there. This new stamp set is called Wreath Greetings. It's probably one of my favorite things from this new release. I love that you can keep it simple and just stamp a single layer wreath, or you can add dimension to it by adding some of those layers to it. The first step to creating this card is to make your pink blended background. This is just a sheet of heavy white, heavy weight, pardon me, white cardstock that is cut just slightly smaller than an A2 card, so it's four inches by five and a quarter. I'm just adding my favorite Distress Oxide inks in worn lipstick and tattered rose, one in each corner, and kind of blending in a gradient fashion. And then I added in this Delicata Golden Glitz into the corners that were left. And this just gives a really pretty gold shimmer to the front of your card that um, I think is just a really cool addition to these ink blended backgrounds. It's not something I had thought of in the past. I was just recently started doing it and I'm really loving the results that I'm getting. So then I just proceeded to flick some water on it to get that cool reaction that oxide inks have to water. And then I spritzed it down in my white color shine shimmer spray just to give it a little bit of you know, shimmer and shine. And the last step for the background is to add some of my gold paint splatters from my Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors paint set. I used two different size brushes just to get two uh, different size splatters. Next, I started stamping the layers of the wreath in Delicata Golden Glitz Ink. I am so thankful that I used my Misty tool to stamp these because I did not get a very good impression the first time. Totally my fault. I just, I think sometimes I don't put enough pressure when I'm stamping them. But thankfully, with using my Misty tool, I was able to stamp a couple of times and get that nice impression that I was looking for. Once they were stamped, I wanted to add gold paint splatters, so I just used my Gonzai Tombi gold paint and added some splatters using my two watercolor brushes. Off camera, I did line up the dies and then proceeded to die cut the layers out from the white cardstock. Next, it was time to stamp the sentiment, and I used my powder tool because I'm going to be heat embossing it. I did put the wreath die there so I could make sure and line up the sentiment right where I wanted it to go. Then I proceeded to ink it up with some embossing ink and then just add some white embossing powder to it and set it with my heat tool. I do use a tinted embossing ink because I feel like it is easier to see, but you could definitely just use personal So after that, it was time to just start putting the card together. I folded my card from white cardstock and then proceeded to adhere the ink blended background to the card with just a piece of foam adhesive. I make these on my own with white foam, foam, foam excuse me, and white sport tape. I had already put foam back on the back of the wreath, and then I just put the wreath around the sentiment, and then added the two smaller layers with some foam back as well. I didn't want the center to be popped up, so I actually only put the foam back on the outside of the wreath layers, and then I just used some regular ink in the middle so that it was just not three dimensional. Then I proceeded to tie a double bow from May Arts Ivory Twine. There isn't really an art to tying a double bow. You just have to fuss with it until it looks the way that you want it to. Um, sometimes you have to tie them a couple of times. I know that happens to me a lot. I did stamp this part of the sentiment off camera. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I did. So I just tucked it underneath the leaf and then proceeded to adhere the double bow to the front and trimmed it excess. 
and then it was time to do my favorite thing to finish all of my cards, and that is adding my signature jewels tucked here and there. Of course, I topped the bow with a jewel that just always seems fitting, and then I just added a couple more jewel accents here and there within the wreath just to give it some sparkle and some shine. Well, that is the card I have for you today using this new Wraith Greeting Stamp and Die Set from Simon Says Stamp. I just love this missing you sentiment. My family is over a thousand miles away in Montana, so it definitely makes me think of them. And I imagine this will be making its way to one of their mailboxes in the near future. Definitely check out my website at leahlessoncreates.com to get all of the details for the blog hop and enter for your chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Simon Says Stamp. And also be sure to check out Simon Says Stamp because this is day two of the blog hop and there is a day one. So there is tons of inspiration and giveaways to be won and you definitely want to be a part of it. Thank you for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out all of my latest videos as I add them to my channel. Other than that, I hope that you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.